Okay. All right, so we're just kicking off. Uh, this is the very first mini lecture for the Intercession 2020. Um, and this is for uh, Matthew Finlayson's English 037 class. This is a very basic and quick presentation to explain what our day-to-day -day learning schedule uh, should look like. Uh, so we'll just jump straight into it. Okay, so first we'll talk about um, what we will be doing during our classroom hours and kind of the organization of uh, how I might expect you to move through the work uh, that will be available each day. So um, first off, uh, every week uh, from Monday th through Thursday, uh, classroom hours are from 12.15 till 3 p.m. So what that means is that I will be online on my computer uh, in my home office during those hours and I will be um, you know answering emails putting up new materials uh, and and basically just providing guidance now most most of the time there will be mini lectures just like this one that will be posted to support uh, the readings that I'll be putting up and the largest uh, portion of the learning in this class will have to be done through reading watching support videos and then responding um, but don't worry about what that will look like because you'll you'll very quickly see that uh, I will be providing support for every step of every process that we'll be learning together. Um, so step one for me every day, I will be checking to see who is on uh, our learning platform. Our learning platform will be VIU Learns. So hopefully uh, if you're students who have studied with VIU before, you'll already be familiar with getting onto that uh, learning website. If not, I'll be putting a very brief tutorial video about how to, how to log on to your uh, VIU Learns page. So I'll check to see who's online. That's kind of like taking uh, attendance. But also, if you send me a quick email every day saying, hey, I'm in the digital classroom, then I'll mark you as being present. Um, so my first process will be to check to see who's there, see what emails are in my inbox. Um, so then uh, I'll also be providing little videos, as I've mentioned, and uh, materials for you to read each day. So from there, from the first initial check, we'll move into the uh, mini lectures and readings, which will have different homework assignments attached to them. Um, so from that point forward, if you have questions about the materials, you can send me an email and I'll be uh, right waiting on ready five, ready to uh, look at your, your emails and answer them. Okay, so second major thing for us to talk about is uh, we need to create a positive um, framework for how we're going to be successful in this this distance learning model. So obviously we're not meeting every day, so it's a little bit more challenging to stay motivated and to, to get all of the correct ideas from the material. So here are some basic tips to help that make that possible. So number one, you've got to stay caught up on your readings. Um, I'll be putting a lot of, uh, you know, articles on the website and short short uh, essays or short uh, texts that I've created myself about different topics, it's key that you stay caught up on those readings. Number two, um, I really encourage you to complete and submit uh, the assignments attached to our, our, our readings or our mini lecture videos. Try your best to do them every day. And so basically that's what your classroom time should be between 12.15 and 3 p.m. You jump onto the website, you check to see what readings are up there, read through them, look at the questions, answer the questions, send me an email. Boom, one, two, three. Um, or depending on your life pattern, as soon as possible is recommended. So stay caught up. I would even recommend making a chart where for each module you write down the reading and then you you put a little box beside it, have I read it, put a check mark if you've read it, have I done the homework, put a check mark if you've done the homework, have I sent the homework, put a check mark if you sent it, did I get a response, put a check mark if you receive a response. Being organized like this will help you to know what you've done and what you haven't done. Okay, next. Now quite often there'll be many lecture videos. I know I'm saying daily, but it might be every second day. There might be two videos one day, three videos one day. We'll, we'll have to see what the pacing looks like. I've got a big list in my own notebook about all the mini lectures I'm going to try to fit into the semester um, and I'll be checking them off just like I kind of mentioned about staying organized. I'll be doing that from my end too um, and you'll, what you'll see is that when a mini, mini lecture goes up there the best bet is for you to actually watch the video and take notes in a notebook 
so I recommend that you go out and get a notebook or find an old notebook in your house and start um, recording what we're learning every day and take notes about what we're learning every day. Um, what we've found, what, what uh, educational researchers have found is that when you actually write something down in the book, that physical motion of doing the writing actually solidifies the memory. So it creates that pathway in your brain. So unless you're actually watching and writing, you're not getting as much out of it. Number four, as you are doing the reading or watching the mini lecture or taking notes, when questions pop into your mind, you should have a section on your notes, and we'll cover this as we, as we move into our learning, um, you should have a section where you write down questions that pop up into your mind because those questions are going to be useful for our discussion boards and also you can just email me questions and if something's really kind of bothering you or, you, or you're really interested or intrigued about something, email me and uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do my best to answer it. Okay, also it's really important to take this process one day at a time. Don't get overwhelmed. It's 40 days of learning, right? 10 weeks long, four days of learning per week. It's just 40 days of learning. And then the additional work that'll come in in terms of the homework. Um, I also recommend that you kind of set up your own kind of classroom within your house, just like I'm setting up my own uh, digital office within my house and use that space as your classroom. So um, everybody's probably got different circumstances going on in their homes. But if you can kind of set up that classroom space, it's going to help you move towards success. Number six, keep a positive mind, stay focused. And number seven, ask your questions via email. But when you're asking your questions, try to create a specific um, frame of reference that makes it easier for me. So like provide examples. So if you're struggling with a sentence type, you can refer back to the mini lecture or you can refer back to some of my readings and ask questions specifically about uh, what you, what, where, when the question popped up for you. Okay, that's just a very basic rundown on what our day-to-day -day learning might look like and some tips to help you be successful. Welcome, welcome. It's going to be a fun semester.